what is up Capricorn and we are here for a, another reading again readings are general take what resonates leave the rest behind smash that like button leave a comment down below you guys already know what is good if you guys are returning if you guys are new my name is Jazz what's up what's good what's new I love you too so let's go ahead and get into these messages Capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter i love you all so much so let's go ahead and see what spirit has in store for you today what messages of clarity wisdom and guidance you need to be bestowed with again general here we go capricorn <laughs> that was quick creation number 37 soul expression and something new oof feels so good this is the creation of something new this is something outside of yourself right this is you taking what is in you and creating something outside of yourself your soul expression something new this is almost feeling like family this is feeling like a relationship this is feeling like some sort of project or you know you are creating something bringing something into existence that is uh, new and something that is outside of yourself it expresses your soul um, and expresses who you are bottom of the deck there is number 23 thought vibrations resonant choices and signature signals here so i do feel like this is something that you have really manifested into existence and this is something that you've been thinking about very heavy capricorn i feel like this is something that has a lot to do with what you've created um, by your own thoughts and your own actions here it's finally coming into um reality for you i feel like this is going to affect your home life this is affecting your you know your own like communal energies, the things that surround you. I feel like this is also going to be affecting your relationships, your partnerships. You know, this is bringing you to a place of happiness. This is bringing you to a place of, you know, stability. And this is being shown outwardly, right? This is something that others are going to be able to see. This is something that you're going to be able to feel, right? And it's going to feel really, really good. This is something you've wanted for quite some time. And again, it's something that was brewing within yourself and it finally is making its way externally, right? You're going to see this, you're going to feel this and it gonna, it's going to feel good. It's going to feel really, really good. It feels destined. It feels faded, right? So there's Capricorn energy there. There is Geminian energy there. Um, we have Taurus energy as well as Leo energy. So you have, look at this community and then you have message in a bottle number 15 so capricorn i'm telling you right now this is definitely you know a message of sorts that's coming from a very harmonious place a very loving place um bottom of the deck is all that glitters i feel like this is an energy that with with community i did say that this is affecting your community this is affecting the people that are around you i feel like it's almost as if your immediate family is growing right it's it, this is about your family this is about your partnerships this is about what like something outside of yourself right so whether this is through you know sex whether this is through um some sort of creative measures this is something that's being expanded with outside of yourself and you know again i feel like this is having a lot to do with something you've done for yourself this is you know the message that you're receiving is from spirit it's very emotional in in nature as well so it feels really good this you know feels really harmonious this is going to change your day-to-day -day routine a lot of this capricorn so i would be very open and understanding to how this is going to affect you virgo energy here leo energy aries energy so just be very cognizant and aware of that this <laughs> this is also showing that you know there there's an understanding here capricorn on your part especially with this thinker underneath of that. that's going to go right into what i was about to say it it shows you that 
all that glitters isn't gold. So all those, you know, thoughts, all those things that you maybe wanted in the past or were trying to create that were coming from ego, it's like that really wasn't what you wanted. What you want is literally what's about to present itself right in front of you. And this has you thinking, this kind of has you in your head because it is affecting your home life, your family life, your stability, number 44, right? You're, you're doing a lot of heavy thinking about this transition to the next level, right? And again, there is that loyal heart energy. It talks about um, trust. It talks about loyalty loyalty to a partner this is <laughs> this feels really really good here you guys coming together to create and expand outside of yourself this communal energy right because 35 breaks down to an eight that was loyal heart this is number eight here community so yeah let's go ahead and dig into this energy capricorn There is a lot of transition, there's a lot of change that's going to be going on and that's going to be happening for you. So this is all about staying open um, to what is available to you and really staying open to the energy that spirit has and realizing that if you have put those thought vibrations out into the universe, it's bound to come back to you. And it's about time that that energy has circled back around to come back to you. Show us what we need to see here, please, spirit. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurian energy. This is something brand new. This is something of the physical. It is something tangible, and it's something that you can touch, feel, taste, see. Okay, it, it's it's really really nice. You can smell it. It's <coughs> excuse me. It's an energy of you know divine happiness here. This is definitely a gift. This is a, a commitment to learning. This is a commitment to another person, you and this other person. This is definitely teamwork, partnership. This is coming together. Again, this Three of Pentacles energy is giving me community, but it's giving me you and another person coming together to expand outside of yourself. So this is showing me that this is a very specific energy. Like this is specific to another person. You guys are almost like following this higher guidance. You guys are following this higher flow to to procreate or create with one another you guys are very excited about this again this is very physical this is happening and it's almost like you guys are cultivating this with spirit like judgment and the fucking chariot this is coming in quite quickly um, and this energy is something that was inevitable. It was bound to happen. It was just waiting for divine timing. It was waiting for the right time for this change to occur. This is an upheaval from honestly the ground up. This is something that's creating a massive change, not only within yourself, but within the person that you're coming together with. This is evolving with nature. This is going with the flow. This is you guys truly evolving with the course of nature and allowing yourself to open up Capricorn to what spirit is showing you right in front of your face, right? So this is you extending yourself out there to another person. There is a male and a female here. So masculine, feminine energy coming together and really living this life in, in wanting to understand the lessons and wanting to understand what the purpose of them being with each other is, right? And deepening that connection. <laughs> And you have the chariot energy. This is Cancerian energy. This is fourth house energy. It's showing us again, this is a head towards family. This is a head towards community. This is this is your stability. This is your legacy. This is longevity, right? This is expansion outside of yourself, creating something new. So a lot of you are wanting to do that with a partner, right? And a lot of you are having this opportunity to do so, right? Through a proposal of engagement or through actually reaching out and being serious and being direct with a, a, with a person, with a female or with a male about what you want in your life here. And that's exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get somebody who wants the same thing as you. And it's about going with the flow. It's about really going with the course of nature and allowing yourself to experience this. Show us more here, please, for Capricorn, Summon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <laughs> I'm telling you, the lovers, the lovers, the lovers. 
Gemini and energy, third house energy. Again, it's about that communal energy. It's about coming together. So once again, we can see that this is two people that are coming together to create this sense of stability. This is an energy that's very public. This is Capricorn energy over here, three of pentacles, Gemini and energy over here with the lovers. It's showing, this is also very opposite energy um, because the lovers is number six. Capricorn energy is the devil, which is number 15, breaking down to a six. So we can see that this is a very bonded union. You guys are meant to come together. You guys are meant to be with one another and there is going to be a lot that you guys learn, but it's more about about the purpose right this is about mission this is about purpose and the connection in the union that is being created here this is truly a transformed energy right death at the bottom of the deck so both of you have been through a transformative process recently mm-hmm Six of Cups. So what I'm going to say here, Capricorn, is this is somebody that you share a past life with, you share energy with. So this is an energetic, this is an energetic person like the energy within this person you have experienced before this is just now at a higher vibration you guys have gone through many lessons together it's almost like you guys are coming back to one another right this is a truity of coming back and i'm not talking about the physical individual i am talking about the energy within your soul so you have many many soulmates this person that you're feeling you felt their energy before it's elevated now it's just more it's just more elevated it's different it's evolved it's matured it feels really really good do you see that and you guys are getting ready to create and start fresh and start this new relationship this is this is magical seven of cups lover six of cups this is a you know magical energy a divine union that's coming in very quickly this is this is a union of purpose this is a union of um stability this is bringing in resolution and understanding to the collective um, and this is truly expanding in a way that is showing you there is more to life than just mundane right it's it's deeper than that you guys are sending a message out into the collective this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful. Bottom of the deck is Eight of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. I do almost feel like there is this emotional need um, from the from the divine feminine or from a feminine energy, a feminine quality. Hello, my love. I love you so much, my little pumpkin boy. My little pumpkin boy, they love you so much, but mommy's got to almost finish working. Mm -hmm. Um, this is an emotional need to express, right? Express the need, right? Express what you need uh, to this other person. Be open, be vulnerable. There is this vulnerability of nurturing and caring, but th this is this is a truity of the feminine energy needing to be vulnerable with this person. Wow, Capricorn, this is intense. Let's get a message of advice here. Let's get a couple cards of advice. What is the advice here, please, Spirit, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, please? What is the advice here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? What is the advice here, please, for Capricorn? What is the advice here, please, for Capricorn? Ace of Wands. This is definitely embracing this new beginning, embracing this new energy. Like as it comes, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, definitely allow it to, to penetrate you. Take a hold of that. Look at this. King of Pentacles. Ooh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurian energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You have the Eight of Cups energy. So you have Piscean energy that's coming through here as well as the Seven of Cups energy. You have Scorpionic energy coming through. I definitely feel like there is a, a choice or decision here. And this choice or decision is 
moving away from confusion, like moving away from, like this person is coming forward very direct. I do feel like this person is emotionally sure of what they want. The eight and the seven lead us to the ace. So this is a brand new beginning that's coming in here. Um, and this is like options, choices, confusion, but this person is very clear about what they want, where they're headed. This person is no longer emotionally confused. Um, and this is coming from a king of pentacles. Um, so I, I do feel like this is about being clear emotionally about what you want, right? And letting that show externally. So when somebody comes into your life here, there isn't that sense of confusion. There isn't that sense of, I don't know what you want. I don't know what they want. Be very clear about what you want and where you're headed emotionally. Um, don't play games with people and just be very open, right? Be very vulnerable um, and willing to start from the bottom and, you know, learn and be curious. Like the page and the moon is like, a curi emotional curiosity be very curious and learning about this person and who they are okay so i'm gonna leave this here look at that the sun and the star and the lovers or listen i love you capricorn i appreciate you and i'll speak to you guys very soon